Okay, you've got this far, let's carry on. Before we begin this section, read the following advice. The aim is for you to review what you already know about the use of the passive and the active voice. Remember to make a note of any new vocabulary you meet whenever you read. Why does academic writing favour the use of the passive voice? Is it academic writing that favours its use or is it actually academics who do the favouring? or even the people who read academic writing. We don't really know, and it doesn't really matter. The aim is to emphasise the action of doing academic writing, not who performs the action. While this may seem a minor semantic point in this instant, you'll soon see how writing in this way assists objectivity and demonstrates formality. In English, the most important information is typically placed at the beginning of the sentence and corresponds with the agent. In academic writing, the agents are usually scientists, study participants, scholars, students, etc. Therefore, the passive voice is frequently used because academic writing focuses on results and actions, not on who or what performs those actions.